You may be wondering where we are flying to. Uh, we are back in the Barrens. I did my alchemy in the last episode, uh, between episodes, and I hearthed two crossroads. We still have our hearthstone set there. And now I'm flying to Camp Taraho. So I thought about it a little bit for a few minutes, and I said, you know, um, I remember my plan a few episodes back was to hit 22 before I move on to Stone Talon. And we're pretty close. We're only about 25% of the way left to go. And I looked at my quest log. We have a few quests, quite a few still in the Barrens we could work on. And to be honest, the easiest one for us is probably going to be um, these Bristleback ones. And I, I need to just kill some mobs anyway. I've got a lot of rested XP. So let's go kill the Thornweavers and Geomancers. Kill uh, 11 more of each. And I think I know where they're at. I remember finding a few earlier, but I think they're just... It's faster to fly here, but I think they're just kind of north of Camp Taraho. There might be more on this ridge over here, which I might go check out first. So I want to start with that. I'm going to go kill some mobs. Hit level 22, probably on this quest, maybe. Maybe. I don't know exactly, but pretty close. If we don't finish these... If we finish these quests and we're still at 22, um, I want to head down to Egg Hunt, and which I might... I don't know, I might even do it now. I haven't done that quest in a long time. It's kind of a cool quest. Um, it's been... I think it's the south, but it has been a long time since I've done it. And, uh... Hmm. I think about this. I think it's right. I need to get, like, around this hill and then head south. And then we'll go from there. So... Now I also need Thunderhawk Glands, this Weapon of Choice quest, um, Razor Main Quill Bores, which I don't know if I'll do this quest right now, it might be a little high level for me, but it basically, I, I want to do Stone Talon, but I have a handful of quests that I should probably be doing here, and there's really no reason I shouldn't take care of these quests, you know, so I'll um, be doing that. We do have a my bags are much more organized. I threw away those dried seeds. They were old and unnecessary. They were for an older quest that we had completed, one of the Oasis related quests. I, um... Oh, hey, Chen's empty keg. I don't need it. I've already got one of those for the quest I'm working on right now. Or on my queue over here. So, yeah. There's that. But let's grab this Briarthorn. And by the way, our alchemy for those curious is now skill 107, so we went from 80 to 107. I learned Elixir of Wisdom, Swim Speed Potion, and Elixir of Water Breathing, some of which I may be making. Uh, some of which I may be making for future skill ups, but I'm not totally sure yet. I need Mage Royal for sure. I think that's used in. Yeah, Elixir of Wisdom. I do have Briar Thorn in the bank, as well as Swift Thistle and Peace Bloom, which is pretty much worthless. The Peace Bloom at this point, anything I could make with it, it uses up reagents that are better served making higher level recipes, so I probably won't be making anything with that. I'm just going to bank it, and at some point I'll sell it or something, I don't know. Uh, how much damage do these things do to me? Uh, let me kill one of these mobs. I, I want to get a feel for how much of a risk I'm taking running by them. Like, if they hit me, am I going to get smoked or am I okay? Well, they do crit pretty nicely, at least. I should have let that Frost Nova finish, or Frost Bolt finish, but it's okay. I need to also pop on some of my other buffs that I have over here, which I'll do in a moment. Okay, like Minor Fortitude and Troll's Blood Potion. I think that's it. I used my last Troll's Defense, or uh, whatever it is, the one that gives me armor, minor, elixir of minor defense. I used the last one. And I won't be making any more, most likely. I'll eventually make Elixir of Defense, which is even better. It's like 150 armor, but I'm not there yet. I think this is it. I think this this is the egg spot for the selected eggs, which I should be tracking that quest. How does it work? I, it's been a long time since I've done this quest. Uh, take this egg claw and collect some of the creature's eggs and rounds. Be careful. If alerted, they will attack you. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um...
the field of giants. Welcome, folks. Now, are these eggs just anywhere, or do I have to find an egg specifically? Okay, so I need to find an actual egg, which is what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. What level is this guy? Level 30 is down here? This sounds like I'm in a, the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, great. Nothing like scorpions. So, uh, corpse, silithid grub. Uh, oh, digging claw. There it is, there it is. Was it that? Okay. Um, Alright, let me kill one of these guys. Again, it kind of gives me a sense of how risky I'm being out here. Like, if one of these accidentally aggro's onto me, am I just going to die? Or am I okay? That's the question. Seems like I'll be fine. I can take these guys. They die pretty easily. Didn't hit that hard. That's a silithid. That's a silithid. It's a scorpion. Sure. Uh, what happens if I kill this? Uh, I'm sure something... Horrifying pops out. No, oh, okay. That was fine. Oh, mage royal. Weird. Oh, strange. I assume these grubs are what pop out of there. Maybe it glitched. We'll see. I got a crit and a uh, frostbite procked on them. That's nice. Nice. Yeah. So I hope I get more than one egg out of these things. Otherwise, this could be a oh, resistance. Oh, nice. Otherwise, that could be bad. We'll see. I'm getting a good amount of experience, at least. And I maybe will just run away. Like, maybe I can just, like, loot this thing. Um, and then a run, and then I'll, like, get what I need. A silithid protector. These are the, like, worst mobs designs ever. Alright, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm assuming... I'm, I, I didn't right-click, I should've done that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna uh, just run away. I got one egg. Wow. Okay. This could take a while. How long are these guys gonna aggro? Like, what's their leash? Oh, not bad. Okay, so I can easily just loot these guys and run. There's really no reason I need to fight them. Just just enough to clear them out. Um, and if I right click, like shift click, I always call it right click. If I shift click loot. And this will actually be pretty easy. Oh, this guy's got the Anixia buff. Good for him. Good for her. I should say. Still gonna die almost, maybe. Oh, close one. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I got three from that one. Okay, cool. Is there an herb over here? King's blood. I don't think I can loot King's blood. <laughs> I'm just leaving all these spawns for everyone else to deal with. I'm a scumbag. Like. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. How does this play out? One of my questions is, do they despawn? No, they don't. Okay, okay. This is a terrible area. Look at these people just fighting off so many mobs. I see that Rogue's got the same idea. Good job, Rogue. Welcome to the club. I mean, I could probably kill this, but there seems like a multiple mobs spawn, which is bad. You know, not exactly the most fun. I'm just gonna mosey. <laughs> I'm having fun doing this. This is like a stealth level 100 on this quest. It's all funny until I die, though. You know, sooner or later. Sooner or later. There's so much bruise weed, major oil. I get the major oil. That'd be nice. But I think I would rather let these people keep fighting this mob, these mobs, and I will take this. Oh, no, that's bad. That's fine. I got it. Don't mind if I do. See you guys. I'm out. Oh, that's scary. That thing could daze me, I think. Those little tiny... That little bug. See it chasing me? Look at that. What is that? It's cute. Um, oh, thanks, guys. Oh, that's fun. Oh, hey. No, this thing's still chasing me. 
Got him. Okay. Whew. <laughs> did I just ninja that from those guys? I think I did. I'm like 90% sure I just ninja that Sultan egg from them. They were clearly fighting towards it. And I was like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ye oh, rogue. Wow. Scumbag rogue. Nope, not scumbag rogue. Get wrecked, rogue. Get wrecked. I guess I'm just gonna go back this way now. Hmm. I apparently didn't uh, freeze that one, which is okay. Hey, there's another one. Sweet. Alright, out of combat, let me do this. Let's eat and drink a little bit, make sure I'm topped off, which I seem to be. I like this quest. It's a lot of fun. I'm just bouncing between nodes and uh, leaving spawns for everyone else to deal with. Oh, I got another one egg. So I could get on this next one. If I get three eggs in this one over here, I'll be good. Um, or this one. Nice. The question is, oh man, the protectors, those are the ones that I uh, spawned earlier, I think, are over here. Ooh, and they have a pretty large aggro radius. That's scary. And be careful. It's like I'm setting traps for myself. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's bad. Okay, okay. What is this herb node? Wild steel boom. I can't loot that. Okay. Some might have to just kill some mobs here, unfortunately. Let's, uh, <laughs> I say this as if it's a bad thing. I probably just kill mobs because I need to level up, but being like a sneaky pro is kind of fun. I say pro as if I'm actually good at this game, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, what's that? What do I just tab target? Okay. I think I'm good. Oh no. Thankfully, they are beasts, which makes us all a little bit, a little bit easier. Oh, blink isn't up. What? Oh, it's just global cooldown, I think. But I'm done with the quest. Hey, easy. Very simple quest. Very simple. I need greater thunderhawks for the uh, thunderhawk saliva gland. I think. I'm still kind of okay. But I don't know if I can kill them or not. I don't know if I'm just going to get destroyed by this thing. I think Dampen Magic's a good idea. I think they cast Lightning Bolts. It's a pretty high level mob. For me. But let's go for it. I've got an escape route behind me, so I'll be okay. I pressed that a little early. I got very lucky that hit him. That was seriously like pushing the range of Frost Nova hard. That was a very easy mob to kill. Wonderful. Wonderful. Got my saliva gland. Cool. Good, good. Don't mind if I do. What else do I need then? I need the lightning gland. I think that drops from the these big worm guys. Uh, not worm guys. These big lizard guys. Um, I'm 90% sure that's the case. Yeah, storm hides. These things. That's what I need to kill. Okay. So maybe I'll do the Chen's quest while I'm down here. I feel I finished my Silith egg quest. That was very, you know, pretty pretty easy. Um Storm Hides are level twenty-three. I don't know what other levels if there's like twenty-two, twenty-three, or twenty-three, twenty-four. Let's see how this works. That was that frost bolt pathed very strange for anyone that was watching that. Good frostbite there, that's nice. Okay, their lightning bolt doesn't hit me that hard. Their melee... Oh, the headbutt. That's a... Uh, that's a fun one. I love a good stun, just like anyone. So they stun. So that's that's bad. Something I need to keep in mind. Okay, I got him, I think. Oh. Wand him. There we go. Okay. Lightning blade. So those things are actually a little bit scarier. Certainly way harder than the Thunderhawk. The Thunderhawk was a like a pushover, but that thing actually was beating me down pretty hard. On the bright side, I got one of my lightning glands, so four more to go. Um, I'm gonna try and find a spot without too many of these. I think I'll start heading north, because I think the, these guys are all over the place. And I need to kind of head north anyway. I want to find like level 22. There we go, perfect. Two of them. A little bit easier to kill. 
a little less health, a little less damage dealt, a little less chance to resist. All good stuff for me. But what I want to do is um, head north slowly towards the quill borers and hopefully kind of be around the quill borers by the time I... Oh, headbutt's done. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. End of days. Bad combo. It headbutts a lot. Wow. Yeah, that's scary. Um, okay. Yeah, those guys are not fun. <laughs> um, I got another lightning gland at least. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling these. Oh, okay. So what? What else is going on? I haven't really talked about. The last episode was pretty much WoW focused. Um, I've mentioned before. I probably talk about it more often than is really entertaining anymore. But I'm a moderator for the Reddit classic wow uh, subreddit and an admin on the discord um the, th the thing that's actually the the subscribers to the subreddit have grown so much recently like when i joined as a uh, oh nice frostbite when i joined as a mod and as an admin on the discord i think we had around like eighteen thousand subscribers on the subreddit by the time as of now which is like mid to late April 2019, we have over 70,000, like 73,000 or something, and uh, when I joined was like March of 2018, it was like a year ago. Hey, we're three for three for lightning glands, it's cool. So in a year, we've added like 70, like no, not 70, uh, like over 50,000 subscribers. Now, I'm going to start by saying this is not like a personal accomplishment or anything that like we as like the moderators are like, oh, we're so cool. We have all these subscribers. We kind of just assume that this is like a natural growth that's going to occur whether we're good at our jobs or bad at our jobs. And this is, these are volunteer jobs, to be clear. Um, oh, Thunderheads. Okay, I'm going too far north. I need to stay down here for the Stormheads. But what's so cool about it is that like the, the hype is like getting serious. Like you can tell people are actually very very hyped for classics release and certainly it's a fair argument to say that classic may be a niche game but i don't know guys i'm i'm starting to really get caught up in the hype a bit and i'm really starting to question people that literally that, that like strongly believe strongly believe the game is not going to be more than just like a very niche product um, because Reddit is only a very small subset of potential WoW Classic fans or players or people interested, right? I mean, Reddit in general is a fraction of the, you know, human population and even a fraction of internet goers, I'd say. Um, and especially when we talk about people that subscribe to the subreddits. So, I'm not saying we're going to have 70,000 people playing necessarily. It might be fewer. Four for four. On lightning glands, really cool. Okay, one more to get. We'll get the storm hide here, and we'll be on our way. Um, I might grab this king's blood. I want to see what. I think I need 125 for king's blood skill herbalism skill 125. I think 125. Perfect. Perfect as in like I remembered it, not as in that's good. I wish I could loot it now. But just seeing the sub subreddit is growing so much, and it's been growing rapidly recently. Um, we've had several days. We've had over a thousand new subscribers, just straight up. Um, maybe three months ago, we were getting at most around 100, 150 new subscribers a day. Um, so it's not so much, again, an accomplishment of our own, but just seeing like the community grow is a really cool thing. Um, five for five, wow. The drop rate is insanely good. But um, I'm so I'm very hyped for that. I think weapons of choice might be a little high level from us. A high level for us. I'm a little bit concerned about doing that quest. Maybe, maybe I can do it. I don't know. It it kind of worries me. Um, but the point being about the subreddit is, I think classic is going to be a lot more than what I really. Um, I don't know. A lot more than what people are expecting. I, I it, it even for me, I'm I'm getting pretty hyped on it. Um, and fairly surprised at how how active 
the subreddit is getting. I'm gonna go take a peek down here, because I think the uh, Quobors are down here. Bristlebacks, I guess they're not Quobors. Well, Bristleback Quobors. Anyway, I'm gonna take a peek down here and see what level they are. And maybe give them a shot. Oh. Stormhides under combat, in combat with a sour fang. Um, I think this might be the area, but let's take a look and see if I can possibly kill the mobs I need. I need a, this is for weapons of choice, uh, a stalker, a seer, and a war frenzy. A stalker is Pathfinder. Cuz. Cuz. What is cuz? Who's cuz? What is this guy? Sure. I'll kill a random named mob for fun. Like, I don't know. This guy's got a lot of health. And he hits really hard. I'm really glad I've got my, uh, dampened magic up, because that could be really bad otherwise. But I think I got this fight. Apparently these people need cuz. I don't even need them. <laughs> I was just killing them for fun. What's up? What's going on, guys? Oh, they needed them for a quest. Wow. <laughs> I was about to take a quest mob from these poor people. Uh, that's really funny. They just like kind of wander across a mob like that that I didn't even need. I was just out here. I, just, I was like, oh, hey, name mom. <laughs> well, they got lucky. Uh, maybe they got unlucky, I don't know. They were kind of lucky. All right, so I'm looking for the the mobs I need. Um, I bet Cuz is like a follow-up quest to one of these quests. There's a seer. Okay, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Level 23. I could probably take that on. That might be fine. Pathfinder. I don't need the Pathfinders, though. Well, oh, this area is wildly farmed up. Is this guy herbing this? Probably. I saw, like, an herb pop up by the time I realized that I was pretty far away. There's a level 24 seer? Hmm. There's a stalker. Level 23 seer. Okay. Let's do this. I'm worried that because stalker's over here, it's gonna aggro on me and, like, wreck me. We'll see. Okay, this seer should be pretty killable. Like, it's looking pretty good. What is a totem? Okay, searing totem, that's fine. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, did that drop what I need? No, okay, what? Okay, okay. That is the right mob, though. Maybe it's just the drop rate's not as high as I was... For some reason, I was thinking it'd be like 100% drop rate, but that's probably just not... That's probably just me being optimistic. Um... Hmm. This area is really farmed, so it makes me kind of worried that the drop rates are really bad, and everyone's running around just like... Hey, I need that mob. Wow. Did it get ambushed? Is that what happened to... Svar? Svars? I should just melee this mob. <laughs> oh, that'd be so mean. I'm not that mean, am I? No, I won't do that. That's, that's just mean. That would be kind of funny, though. Right? Just, like, poke it and have the sheep, like, chase him down. I need this war frenzy. That's what I need. This feels like, like a really risky place to be. Oh, resist. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this area. Oh, thanks for the help, buddy. I guess it's payback for me not um, freeing the sheep, or kind of payback. So I, I shouldn't do this. I think this quest is going to be a little bit... Like, the drop rate isn't obviously isn't 100%. And...
And I think it could take a while to do the quest. Um, because the mobs are kind of high level. So I think I'm better off going to do the, the tribes at war up here. I think that, that's probably a smarter decision. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go up there. Ooh, they got a duo going on here. Cemetery Gate. It's a undead name and Precious. Precious, whatever you wanna call it. I will help you. You are welcome. Seriously. I'm such a nice, nice person. Kind of split up that DPS a bit. Yeah, it's nice. Wait, what is that mob over here? Pathfinder. Don't need those. Okay. And a yeah, stalker. All right. So um, to get back to my very quick story, I just am starting to think that Classic is going to be a lot bigger than Blizzard is anticipating, and I think it's going to be a lot bigger than a lot of non-Classic fans that are aware of Classic are anticipating. Um, look at, you know, for example, people that are playing Modern WoW, like BFA, and really are invested in that. Which, by the way, I don't think BFA is a bad game. It, I can see why people are a little bit unhappy with it, or even a lot unhappy with it. But I don't think it's a dead game. I don't think it's a even necessarily dying game. I think WoW has been cyclical for a long time. Um, there have been expansions that have been good. There have been patches that have been good. There's been expansions that have been relatively bad and patches that have been relatively bad um i think we're in a lull right now in a way where the content isn't quite what people want it to be some things that were promised um some of the allied races just weren't made available when people expect them to be etc but there's a lot of things that i think um it seems very easy for me to see how blizzard could recover from this you know it's not i'm, I'm just not like that worried about Modern WoW's longevity right now. Um, now, if Classic is wildly successful, I think that could defer some of Blizzard's resources um, towards Classic, not necessarily away from retail. Oh, I want that Mage Royal, but I don't necessarily want to fight all these guys. These are the mobs that summon mobs, and it's annoying. Um, but long story short is I think Classic's going to be pretty popular. I think it's going to be a, the eggs moving, what the heck. I think it's going to be a very popular game, and I think Blizzard is a little bit underestimating that someone just died. I don't know who that was. I just heard a, someone over here? I don't know. What the, it was like a really faint kind of he, like player character death sound to me. Unclear what that was, but not my problem. So, I mean, people just need to get ready. Classic's gonna, I don't want to say take the world by storm. Might be a little bit uh, hyperbolic, but uh, should be should be successful. I think Blizzard will be very happy with the a number of players playing it, and I think it will give them a little bit of a pause and make them consider whether or not they want to um, invest more into it. I think that is something they're going to consider. Uh, long, longer term, because I do think it'll be wildly popular the first week or two. I think a lot of people are going to leave within the first month, but I think even after that initial like sightseeing, whatever you want to call it, it's still going to be, you know, hundreds of thousands of players. I don't think we're talking in the thousands or tens of thousands. I think we're talking in over. I think we're going to talk. Let's say a hundred thousand safely, over a hundred thousand players easily. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to see several hundred thousand like relatively active players, but I think over a million might be pushing it a bit. And I don't know if a few hundred thousand is enough for Blizzard to care. I think they also recognize that the monetization is kind of weak. They can't monetize it very well. If they start adding in cash shops, etc., or level boosts, that is very, um, it's very counter to what Classic is supposed to be. And I think you'll lose people along the way, so they might make more money per person, but they might have fewer players, and I don't know if that's going to work. That is a scary, scary Kodo squad. Look at that. Baron's Kodos, Crater Baron's Kodos, Wooly Kodos. Don't mess with this pack. I do not. In fact, this might be a good photo op. 
kind of doing some... Wait a minute. What, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I almost... Ooh. Ooh, I almost polymorphed that Kodo. I think these Kodos have social aggro. I think they do. I almost polymorphed that big one. Oh god, that would have... If they had social aggroed on me... I would have had a very slim chance of escaping that, I think. Um, it's too many mobs. Oh, man. Um, this is actually kind of risky now. I'm, I, I realize I'm kind of getting stuck in around all these mobs here. Oh, good. Someone aggro that thing. I'm going to go this way. So what I need is kind of, I think, up to the right up here. I don't see anything now. Oh, there it is. I see the brambles. That's what I was... I, again, I always call them brambles. I don't know if that's what they are, but the little thorn things in the distance. That That's where I think my Tribes at War quest can be completed. Um, I didn't expect to get Chen's empty quest, empty keg quest done, but that's kind of a nice perk. I don't remember where to turn that in. Ratchet? Yeah, Ratchet. Okay. Get some Troll Gale. Increased health, but decreased spirit. Eh. My, my spirit's already low. Uh, why not? Why not a little more? Okay, so let's drop that off. What are these guys? I saw them earlier. I don't remember what they're for, though. Certainly for a quest, but I don't know what quest that is. King's Blood, can't loot that. I hope this area isn't heavily farmed right now. I'm kind of was disappointed with how heavily farmed it was down in the uh, Field of Giants with those other, that other quest, the uh, Weapons of Choice quest. There was so many... That's part of the reason I didn't want to do it. There's so many player characters down there that I was just not really confident that I was going to be able to get the mobs I needed. I see I'm not alone here either. Well. Okay. Uh, hmm. Not really many mobs. I don't think anybody here. Maybe here's some mobs. Maybe here. Maybe here. I see a lot of corpses. A lot of corpses. Wow. There's a mob. What is that? Do I need that one? A hunter. Nope. There's one. Hunter. Nope. Hunter. Nope. Water seeker, which I don't need. <laughs> oh man, maybe this is not a good spot for me. Uh, what is this? Hunter. No. Also not helpful. Let's aggro on me. I think I'm good. Good. I figured I'd get the mage royal on here. All the major oil, apparently. Like I said, I need it for my alchemy stuff, so we'll go and do what we can. Level 100 for skill ups, which means I can now herbalize um, uh, bruise weed. I believe it's 100 bruise weed. So that's good. That's it. That's really useful because I do need that for um, some one of these. Which one is it? I swear there's one that uses bruise weed. Maybe something. I mean, certainly there's something higher level, but I thought I already had a bruise weed. But okay, guess not. Well, this area seems to be heavily farmed also. Because, like, I'm just looking at all the Thornweaver corpse, Geomancer corpse. So these are the, this is the right spot. Thornweaver, Thornweaver. But it's just also getting farmed. <laughs> there we go. I was like, I don't know if that's Geomancer, but I bet it is. Cool. That rogue, I think, was coming over here for this mob, and then, like, turned around because he saw me coming at it. I was like, that's right. Get out of here. It's my mob, rogue. My mob. That thing does hit pretty hard. Uh, wow. Geomancers hit really hard. But, they're squishy. You know, glass cannon style stuff, so. Blood shards. And tusks. Cool. I can't remember what the blood shards are for. I've kept them here because I think there is a quest. Like, a follow-up quest or something. For some quest. I don't know. But I swear there's a quest that uses them. But I don't remember which one, and I haven't looked it up. But I'm holding them, and I didn't put them in the bank, because I, I know eventually I'll need them. I'm just not sure when. Well, that's a little glitchy. <sighs> well, I think I'm just kind of camping mobs now. Camping for respawns, which is, this is always what I don't like doing. Like, I find it a little, it's just, you know, it's not efficient, it's kind of boring. Ooh, Moonfire, okay, okay. I thought he was going to try and tag it in cat form, I think it's not the most efficient way, but. 
We should just group, is what we should do. Right? Like, if we're this many people, like, why not just group up? Because we, we're just killing them. We're not looting stuff. I mean, I'm losing, looting the, uh, the horns or the, the, the tusks, but... Is it warrior? Yeah, warrior. Okay. Alright, got him. I tried to invite these people, so... Whatever. They don't want to hang out? That's fine. You don't need to. I don't need the water seeker. That's fine. You can have it. <laughs> I, uh, don't need them. I already got those. I had a, I found those easily, um, like, five or six episodes ago. They were all over the place, but. Oh, man. A little slow on that one. Hmm. Let's see what's going on in my life otherwise. I, uh. Oh, dang it. I'm so slum. I'm getting wrecked by this dude. Why won't this dude just group up with us? What's this scumbag? I, uh... The trick is I don't know where to look exactly. Like, if I see him, I could blink over and fire blast them pretty quickly. But the druid's faster than me. Even with, with blink, I guess I'm faster, depending on the distance we're trying to cover, but... I, like... Yeah, I just... Oh, man. Getting wrecked by this druid. Feels bad, man. Um, oh, there's, what the heck? Two of them? There we go, there we go. Get that one. Behind you. Get him. Get him. Much better. We got one. <laughs> we got one. Oh, we got a lot of these. Can we have to kill 24 of these? Oh, man. What I'd like to do is have us all group up again, like I'm saying, but you know. Look at this. Private food port for the win. Hmm. There is one. Get him, warrior buddy. Is that where of a staff? Interesting. I don't see a lot of that. This is so annoying. I don't have Frost Nova up. I didn't have um, Fire Blast up, unfortunately. So I was like, I couldn't hit him with the Fire Blast, so the only thing I could do was trying to Frost Bolt him. Hmm. Got him. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, so maybe that's why the guy wasn't grouping up with us. Maybe he was already in a group? I don't know. Hmm. There's not a lot of respawns over here. Like, I'm thinking about it, and like... Like, this area right where I'm looking is not really that respawn heavy. Um... I don't even need the Water Seekers. Whatever. Still taking them. <laughs> I tried to invite you earlier. Why didn't you help? Why didn't you... Why didn't you... Take my invite earlier. Okay, well, whatever. I will, uh... Accept that. I'm, like, grouping with the worst possible people to help with this these quests. Like a rogue and a warrior. Like, oh god. How unuseful are these two for tagging stuff? But, whatever. That's okay. Got him. Okay. I gotta not die while I'm out here. That'd be very, very good. Alright. Help me out here. <laughs> anyway, so, uh... Oh, immune to fire spells. Interesting. I don't even think I noticed that earlier. Okay. Well, let's eat and drink. So, um... Oh, man, my poor nephew. My nephew is, like, uh, young and like under five and 
I know his age, I'm just, I don't know, I'm weird about giving details about people that aren't me. Like, it's not really my, I don't know, I don't feel like it's appropriate always. Poor guy had, like, a fever and, uh, a, like, a stomach pain, and so my brother, uh, his dad took him to the hospital. Oh, that was a fast kill, good job. What's this? Briarthorn. I'll take that, yeah. Wouldn't mind some Briarthorn. Um... Take him to the hospital, and this is going right to the Briarthorn. That annoying, annoying raptor. And they thought he might have, like, appendicitis, but he didn't. It kind of just cleared up on its own, whatever it was. The fever and the pain, so I don't know. It's kind of strange, but it sounded like appendicitis. He had pain in his, like, right lower quadrant, I think it was. Oh, we lost our buddy, the other guy. Um, I need to get out of aggro range of that raptor before I do this. Probably is a bad decision, but... We'll see. I can re-sheep the raptor if needed. Oh yeah. I forgot. Fire resistant. Okay. No problem. So, uh, poor guy was in the hospital overnight and he had like a CT scan, like, you know, they took blood samples to check for his, uh, see what was going on and it's like, oh, that's not fun. You know, as a kid, like, Hospital stays, I, I don't think are that fun as a kid. Maybe some kids think they are, but I was lucky. Never really had any. I've never had a CT scan in my entire life. I've had, um, what have I had? I've had x-rays, like, on my teeth, <laughs> you know, like, going to the dentist. Like, not even, not even a, uh, I get some, uh, tusks here. Not even for, like, a broken bone or anything. It was just, just for routine checkups from a dentist, so... And I've had a very healthy life, I guess you could say. Uh, well, you could certainly say. Relatively speaking, I've had a very healthy life. And um, I'm not one to, like, jinx. You know, I don't believe in jinxes or knocking on wood or anything, so... Oh, I missed that guy. That's okay. I'm just invite this guy. Nope. Don't want to join up? That's okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Alright. We're gonna keep going. We've got, uh, we're almost half, we're a little over halfway with the, of the two twelves that we need. So many mobs we have to kill. Jeez. It's a long quest. Yeah, so anyway, I felt, felt bad for the poor kid. It just kind of stinks having to, uh, go to a hospital stay and get blood work and all that and you're a little kid, but he's doing okay. It sounds like he's gonna go home today and I think he's, it's clearing up whatever it is. It sounds like, I don't know if they know what it was, but it doesn't really, it, probably just some infection maybe, I don't know. It's my guess. There we go. We're making some progress now. That other squad of people left, which helped a lot. Because those guys were stealing everything. They were doing a good job of it too. They were they were fast. Um, but I don't see any competition now, so we can just kind of take our time. Well not take our time, but you know, not like stress. I'm gonna ding on this kill over here on the left when this guy dies, or whatever mob dies next, I'm gonna ding, which is nice. I should do. Make some water, use up my mana, you know, then ding. Perfect. Get that mana boost, right? Look at that. Strategies, folks. Strategies. Um, I need one more Geomancer and a few more Thorn Weavers. So kill the Geomancer over here. I'll be done with that. And then Thorn Weaver. I just need Thorn Weavers. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I guess everyone's done. Except for me and that guy, I guess. Thorn Weaver. Let's get this guy. Why would this guy leave group? Like, what? Why would you do that? Doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Almost done. Almost done. Whew. I'm so happy we done this quest. I, um... When you see 20... You have to kill... What do we have to kill? 30 mobs? That's a lot. 30 and split across three different named groups. And, uh... In an area that's apparently fairly competitive is not a good combination for efficient leveling. This is a quest that I would probably recommend you um, skip if you are 
Um, I'm trying to be efficient with the link. I need that guy. No, I don't. That's a water seeker. I need one more thorn weaver. Okay, let's find him. One more thorn weaver. Oh, there's all these herbs, or like not herbs, but um, mobs I missed. Like we killed them, and I just wasn't looting them all. Like Quilbur Tusk has a, has a ways to go still, though, unfortunately. Hey, look, Mia Nice is back. Good for you. Oh, this one over here I got to loot too. I didn't. We just killed so many mobs so quickly. I wasn't paying attention to it. Nice, more tusks. So after this quest is done, I think I'm just gonna turn in what I have, which is like two or three quests today. There we go. No nope. water seeker. Not what I need. That's fine. Um, and then go to Orgrimmar to train my skills. Got level 22, which also means I got a talent. I should I should really learn Cold Snap. I'm thinking about it. And as nice as permafrost is, there's no question that. Being able to frost over twice in a row could be the difference between life and death. So you need to be cold snap. Um, I probably will put some points in a maxing out permafrost next, and then um, maybe improve frost nova, piercing. There's so many things, right? There's so many skills here that I could justify. I think geomancer, I need a thorn weaver. But I think having that is a good option. I don't know where to put it just yet. I'm gonna slam it. Oh, where would I like it? You know what? I'm gonna do it like this. I should probably do it like this. Uh, let's go in this direction. Alright. Geomancers. Geomancers, right? That's all these are. I'm being really lazy now that I don't see the mobs that I need. I'm just kind of doing other stuff, but um, I guess I could still use the quills, so it's not like the, the, the tusks. It's not like I'm totally done with these mobs. Is that what I need over there? No. Oh, a Thorn Weaver. Yes. Get him, get him, get him. So, yeah, Cold Snap. Fun spell. Um, right now, it's only basically a way to refresh Frost Nova. I don't think there's any other skill I have that I'm using frequently besides this. Uh, I'm done. Thanks for your help, and good luck. I'm trying to be nice. Now, where do I want to go? Okay, Camp T. Alright. I'll kill this guy. Help kill him. Oh yeah, duh. Immune, I knew that. Might as well get a few blood shards and uh, tusks on the way. So, we're halfway with the tusks. Um, I know there's more quests to do for this, but... Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we get all those tusks. I'm not gonna go to my way to deal with it. Marine, Marine, uh, what's Marine's name? Mar Marin, Mar Marin Skyseer is off to the east over here, but I still am not that motivated to do that quest on the basis that I think it's a really high level quest. And like the follow up is. So like, yeah, I can turn in that quest with her, get a little experience, read a little bit of quest text, which is sometimes really fun anyway. But then the follow up's gonna be too high level for me to do, I think, so. But yeah, we've hit 22, which is nice. Um, I don't think we get any major, really cool skills again until we hit level 30. I think it's something we learn at 30 that's nice. 22 or 24 might be portals. I might be able to learn, like, a teleport or portaling. It might be teleport. That would be cool, though. Getting um, Being able to teleport helps so much with leveling as a mage. Um, it really lets you be very flexible and kind of greedy with your hearthstone. In general, I usually recommend keeping your Hearthstone well, wherever you're questing a lot, but so it's kind of nice, but I usually will keep it kind of in a major city or near a major city, so Crossroads is like one flight away from major city. That's, that's not too bad. Um, I find it convenient to have it somewhat close, personally. Mage Realm. Let's get that. Uh, but with a mage, you can do whatever you want, right? You have a lot of flexibility since you can always teleport to a major city. And in fact, I would say you should almost never have your hearthstone in a major city as a mage once you get teleports. Um, because you can teleport to the major city, right? And then you can hearth back to wherever you're questing. And completely eliminates the need for flying back and forth to learn skills uh, in most cases. So that's a huge thing. I think it's 22. It might be 24 or 26 for teleports, but I'm betting we're close to the teleport range. Let's, um, 
Or Mangle Tooth. That's the, that's the quest to turn in is over here. Let's turn in that quest. I forget what Jorn has the follow up. I think it's a Wailing Caverns quest. But I can't remember. Oh, it's Ashenvale. Right, right. I'm not going to Ashenvale right now. Let's see what our buddy Mangle Tooth has for us. Tribes at War. Yes, yes. Filled with joy because finally the Bristleback know my tribe's pain. Okay. Complete quest. 1650 and follow up. Um, Blood Shards of Agamaga Agamagan. Agamagan? Maybe this is the Blood Shards quest. Bring a Blood Shard of Mangletooth and camp to Raho and the Barons. Collect more Blood Shards if you want them to bless you with Agamagan's power. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so first of all, turn this in. It is power, yes. So I get 1250 experience. This is really cool. Um, Betrayal from Within. Hold on. Oh, these are the ones I just I just killed, cuz. Okay, I could do that again, but I um. I don't know if I'm gonna go. Oh, let's grab. It. We have we have quest space. I'll take it for now, but I think it's a little high level anyway. But the follow up's cool. Um. Well, that's not the right one. So I think it'll give me wind. Or sorry, spirit, strength, agility, intellect. Is this armor, maybe? I don't know what these actually give you. But I, I, I think it's like a 30 or 60 minute buff. And how many of these do I have? Oh, I have a pretty good amount. I have 20... So I have enough for 5 buffs. I think I'll do this at some point, but I I don't know if I want to do it right now. Because uh, I'm going to fly out of here. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should just do one. Let me think about this. So where am I going to quest next? I'm going to go to Ratchet. And cross starts turning these quests. And then I'm like, okay. Let's not do this right now. But I probably will grab these soon. What I where's the flight master? Right there, duh. Um Let's go to Crossroads. Pit stop turn a quest. Then we will go to Ratchet turn a quest. Then I will fly to Orgrimmar and skill up. And we will call it a day after that. That'll be the end of our episode. Yeah, I'm not gonna speed up the video. It's a pretty short flight either way. I uh, I need to get some lunch. I'm hungry. I don't usually play. Wow, this midday like this, but today it kind of worked out for me, which is really exciting. I uh, kind of enjoying a little bit of midday. Midday, wow! It's like I said, kind of new for me. Um, And I'm looking for, and I've been enjoying that. I'm not looking forward to it. I've been enjoying that. But this will be about the end of that for me. I need, uh, I got some work I need to get back to, and um, I don't know. Just yeah, it's a pretty chill day. It's been such a relief um, now that I mentioned this for like five episodes straight. Um, a family member of mine had surgery. It's been such a relief that they're doing well and they're home and recovering. Um, it's just been like. My wife and I, that first weekend, we like we went out and played tennis, which was great. We haven't played tennis since last year. Like we, it's been you know winter time and all that. Played tennis for about an hour. It's really nice. Um, had a blast. Uh, we love playing tennis. We're not very good at it, but we just you know we like to hit it around. It's fun. Good easy exercise. Uh, let's turn in the egg hunt quest here. You please me, super mage. The egg is the end. The tool. Well done. Um, Harlequin. Harlequin robes are... Yeah, we'll get this piece. We'll, we'll throw it away. Our vendor, I should say. Not throw it away. Um, so we played tennis. We had a lot of fun with that. We tried a new restaurant we'd never been to before that we've walked by like a million times. That was good. She got like a nacho platter. I got this like... Um, oh, what is it called? Nashville hot chicken sandwich. It was on like Texas toast and some coleslaw. I don't like coleslaw. I've never liked it. I'm not a big fan of cabbage in general. Um, so I took most of that off, like I left a little bit on, but it was pretty good. Pretty good sandwich. I probably won't get it again. I'd like to try something else on the menu, but it was pretty good. The nachos were great, uh, but the french fries that came with my sandwich were amazing. So my wife ended up having a little bit of my sandwich. Like We kind of like shared everything. Um, so we kind of split our chicken sandwich, some fries, some nachos. Super unhealthy meal, but um, very, very tasty. And it's kind of like a celebration for us that things have gone went well for the surgery. Um, 
We landed in Ratchet now, by the way. And I gotta go find my quest giver, who I think is. Yeah, there he is. Or at least the dot suggests that that's where they are. Um, this is for, like, Chen's Empty Keg, and I think this is the final step in that quest. I do think it might be repeatable. Like, I think you can repeat it in some way, but I'm not sure. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the end. Huh. I knew you couldn't resist some of the, this brew. Come back any time you want some more. Just bring me more of the ingredients, yeah. Right, so you can get more of this if you want. Cool. Um, so done. We can now have... Plus 23 to 37 health. It's just kind of funny having a buff that's like a, a ranged amount of health. And lose 4 spirit, which is probably actually not good for me. Cause I, you know, to be honest, I almost might take the health over the spirit. I almost think that'd be more useful. Oh, I hate people stand on these things. You know why? What they're doing is they're trying to get you to like... Oh, look. Which warlock did that? Whose minion is this? This guy. Oh, here we go. The fight has begun. Because the guard's distracted. Very funny. Very funny. It is crazy to me that the guards can just be killed by people so easily. Like, in my opinion, I think it's more... Like, I think the guard should be not soloable by a single player. Or maybe, like, a really high-level, like, well-geared player, but... I kind of like the idea of most major city guards, and I would consider Ratchet to be not a major city, but, um, I don't know. It's not like an outpost, right? Like, there's a bank, there's an inn. It's a, I don't know what you call those, like a, it's a large quest hub, I would argue, but not a major city. I kind of would like the idea of originally, if it, I don't want these changes now, I mean, it is what it is, but if I were designing the game, I would have made guards a little bit riskier, um, a little bit more dangerous. In major cities, I think guards should be, like, overwhelming in, in some degree. And I guess they kind of are sometimes, but... Um, especially around, like, the uh, city's leader. So anyway, played some tennis. Had some good food. Um, got some groceries, you know, did some chores, caught up on things. We just kind of lounged um, in the evening and watched uh, some Netflix. It was, it, was a good, it was a good weekend for us. We had a, a nice time. I'm like physically stretching right now, so if I sound funny, that's why. My apologies. Uh, I should take a moment to thank Aberrant Zero and Kieran S. These two are the uh, top tier of supporters on my Patreon, and I'm very appreciative of their support. It's very, very helpful. Uh, at some point, in the not too distant future, some of the. Um, I, I'm quickly converting some of the earnings I've made from my first month of Patreon into some things that I'm using for the channel. It should become apparent in some videos in the next, probably the next two months. I gotta take some time to actually put everything together for this, but yeah, so it's very helpful to me and I appreciate that. Uh, we are taking our flight over to Orgrimmar. I normally would speed up these flights and I probably should have for this one, but eh, I felt a little like chatting some more, I guess, since we're kind of closing out the episode here very soon. Uh, once I land, we're just gonna go down the kind of like the where is it? The Valley of Spirits. So we're gonna land here. I'm gonna take the bridge this time. Last time I did the same thing. I I jumped down, thinking I needed to go like the Valley of Honor, or the Cleft of Shadow is what I really thought for some reason. I don't know what I was doing. As it turns out, <laughs> no, just cross this bridge, head south around this curve, and into the Valley of Spirits. Now. As a pro tip for Alliance players that are interested in taking down Thrall, the easiest way into Orgrimmar is to take this backside entrance. It's honestly insane, it's such an obvious, like, it's not well guarded, there's not many players here. Most player characters, you can see me zooming in here, most player characters hang out in the Valley of Strength. Uh, the bank is here, they're usually in the bank, just outside the bank of the mailbox here, or around the auction house or in kind of along this stretch here. So. Most players are right in this area. Um, there's very few that hang over here. You can almost, if you get in here fast, you kill a guard or two and just all move quickly and stay kind of tightly packed, you can pretty much waltz into the Valley of Wisdom up here, into Thrall's Chamber Room or whatever you want to call it. Maybe seeing maybe five um, horde player characters, uh, depending on the time of day and all that. It's relatively easy to get into there. Um, 
Thunder Bluff, there's not as easy of a route in my opinion. And I think the elevators make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, Undercity... I don't think Undercity is necessarily easy either, but it's just, there's not many Horde usually in. There's no one in Thunder Bluff. Um, but it is not a super long flight from Orgrimmar, so it doesn't take a lot to get there, so you don't have a lot of time. However, Undercity is not that populated either, and it's so far away that Horde characters can't get there easily. Um, I mean, obviously portals and mages and all that, right? But if they're in Orgrimmar and it's like a rogue, they're not going to get over there in time. They're going to give up before you, and by the time you can kill Sylvanas. So, I would say, yeah. Just my advice based on what I've experienced in the past. Uh, Conjure Food 3 is really nice, and Arcane Explosion is certainly very nice. Now, am I way off on portals? I don't see portals anywhere on here. Where is the teleport stuff? Is it like a different... I could have sworn that it, I should... Maybe it's a portal trainer. That's what I need to be doing. Duh. It's not a mage trainer. It's a portal trainer. Um, Alright, let's finish. Okay, so we got... Um, before I forget. I got a new arcane missiles. Rank 2. Okay. And I got a new counter food. Okay. Let's make some of these. I'm, then I can swap out my... Uh, toolbar here. Hot bar. Okay. What else we got? We have a new Fire Blast, which is nice, and a Scorch. This is a slow... You know, I don't expect to use as much um, Frost Ward. I don't expect to use that much either. Oh, I... Actually, I think I could use that quite a bit. Especially, now that I think about it, Fire Ward I probably could have put to use too. But I'm definitely going to keep that there, and a new Fire Blast. I'm not going to learn Scorch. I don't expect to use it much. And when I think about it, I'd rather have the extra Silver. Maybe the portal was at 20. Where is the portal trainer here? Priest trainer? I, I... Do I have to go to Undercity to learn portals? I... Don't... Remember... Portal trainer. I will have to figure this out, as I... I'm not... I'm just not sure. I, I, not, I mean, I remember it being those portal trainers are separate. Portal trainer, right? Is that a thing, isn't it? Am I not making that up? I... Maybe it's over here. Let's take a look. Now, there is one in Orgrimmar named Thule, and Thule is... Hmm. This is the person I need. That's... I could have sworn I just saw this mob, this character over here. Ooh. I, it's, uh, hmm, hmm. Maybe it's upstairs and I just wasn't paying attention. See, because I feel like the wall should be here. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's some weird, like, phasing? I don't know what's going on there. Level 20 teaches portals. Okay. Interesting. So when I was in Undercity, I should have learned that okay that's really good to know though honestly like seriously i'm glad i thought about it when i did and didn't go any further um, so runa teleportation i need to go get that all right i'm gonna call it a day here i'm gonna do something off camera i'm gonna go to undercity and grab the portal undercity so i have it for the future and then i'm gonna hearth back to crossroads at the end of this episode or over between episodes and next time we will probably continue in Crossroads or Ramar area. Um, I'll grab some teleport uh, runes also, right? Yeah, runes of teleportation. So I'll have them handy. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.